Hey guys, DC here and welcome back to the Art in Flow. Now this week's episode is a bit of a combination on two big saltwater barramundi artworks. The first one being a replica of a metre saltwater fish caught by one of my best mates and then the second moves on to a bit of an ode to one of my other best mates who managed to score me my first big metery on fly. Now stay tuned because up first is some amazing cinematic footage that we have caught over the years on some of our most amazing and epic Northern Territory barramundi trips. probably only drawn maybe two Barra artworks that I would consider any good. I guess probably because I spent so long on them. Um, but I for sure had more than my fair share of big saltwater wild NT Barramundi for sure. And that's definitely not because of my expertise. It definitely helps having one of the best big saltwater barramundi guides in the country as your best mate for sure. So the first big barra artwork would have been Kelly's meter plus salty. Um, that was a pretty special one for him. He took over a decade of chasing these fish to get that metery so I replicated that perfectly to size for him and that was the start of drawing so many trophy fish after that. Years later I managed to get my first metery on fly which is a story in itself. We had caught 90s all day on conventional lures and just by chance, Benny at Vision Sport Fish and Charters just marked up this section where he just knew big fish were sitting and um, all I had to do was get the fly deep enough and get it right in front of this fish's nose and it ate and we landed that fish and that was a pretty special day for everybody involved for sure. Now I never intended to draw my own replica fish artwork for that metery on fly, but as the years went on, I felt compelled to draw another barra. And for me, I really wanted to do the classic jumping barra pose with the folded tail into the background. And I really wanted to show a big fish lots ahead. The only twist I really wanted to do to show off a little bit was to show more of the throat and under where those peck fins are just to really give this fish a bit of uniqueness in the artwork. And from what I've learned with Benny when he chases big fish is you really need to have the mindset for big fish not only with the gear and the location of where these fish are sitting but you really need to forget about all those smaller fish which generally come in numbers which are so fun to catch we we as fishermen we all love that and the froth of catching 
lots of numbers throughout the day is amazing, but you've got to let that go. Catching these bigger fish is a different game, and that's kind of why I put those two smaller fish in the background up top there, because they're just a different animal. And once you learn from these experts like Benny, letting go of those smaller fish and chasing these bigger fish is a whole different sport. It's pretty impressive to watch and learn from. And it is that vision that changes, which is what led me to naming this artwork Vision. And I guess what Benny led him to name his whole business and charter after. So thanks, Benny. I'm borrowing that title for this one. And I'm super stoked how this artwork came out now. And I'm super proud to, um, I guess, represent my meter on fly, but also represent all the trips I've done with Benny and barra fishing in general. I think fishermen in general have this vision and it's what they strive for when they get out there in the wilderness. It's just you versus elements and that primal hunting need in man comes through. And uh, when you have your good days, yeah, nothing beats it. So yeah, I, I hope that everyone enjoys these artworks as much as I enjoy creating them. And you can catch all these artworks on my new online store, which is dcflowplan.com. So until next week and the next adventure, cheers. Thanks for coming.